everyone, my name is Danielle, and welcome to an episode of Board Game Bakes. But this is a little different, because instead of baking something, I'm just going to start off the year with telling you some of my favorite kitchen gadgets and tools that will make baking easier. Have you ever seen some of my recipes and you're like, wow, I really want to try that, but I don't really know where to start. Believe it or not, I actually have no baking training at all. One of my first memories of baking actually was I tried making a banana bread cake, and it just tasted like Crisco. But I've come a long way. Everything doesn't taste like Crisco now. So I'm going to tell you some of my favorite tools that I used in 2022. And if you're interested, I'll put the links down below. I don't really have any affiliate partners with these people, but this way it's accessible for you. So these are going to be my top five tools that will make baking easier if you ever want to try and recreate one of my cakes. Okay, number five is a bench press. No, that's, a, that's not what this is. <laughs> number five is a bench scraper. This has a lot of different uses, so it's not just a one trick pony. It's good for when you're making fondant. It's probably my most popular use for it is when I'm making my marshmallow fondant. I'm able to scrape off and get off the counter and flip it and this way I'm not as messy and I don't waste fondant that's stuck on the counter. You also use it to cut dough when you're baking bread and when you're decorating cakes it helps nice, make it nice and smooth and you can hold it upright. But this is, I really want, Ooh. this is probably the one that's most stolen by my husband too. Because when you're making pizza dough, it's perfect to slice your dough this so you can divide it and let it proof more. So, handy for baking, handy for a lot of different things. Number four is a handy dandy kitchen scale. This is just the one that I had before that's been really useful while doing all my baking. Some recipes are from other countries, not in America, use grams, ounces, other units of measurement. And instead of having to convert it and do the math and stuff to cups, it's easy just to put your bowl on the scale measure measure and you're done this way you don't have to use all your measuring cups and you can even just keep adding it to the same bowl whenever you're measuring flour the technique is to use a spoon to put it into the cup and level it because if you scoop it up too much it can be heavier so the nice thing about using a scale is that you know that every time you do it you're going to have exactly the same weight of it also it's good just to have in your kitchen because when you're doing other recipes and stuff sometimes you just you know the weight so this is a very handy tool and definitely what makes it easier to bake. Number three, a metal rod. Just kidding, it's a rolling pin, but it's super nifty because it has these rings on the side and they're all a different thickness. So you pick how thick you want your cookie. It's like when my recipe say, roll your dough out to a quarter inch thickness, you have it, it works. And this way, as long as it rolls over without any resistance, you know that they're all the same thickness, they're all a quarter of an inch thick, and this way they all bake the same because if you don't have them the same thickness then the ones that are thinner are going to burn the ones that are thicker are going to be raw and this way you know that they're all quarter inch thick so it took me a long time to actually get one of these I kept dragging my feet because it's like i have a rolling pin i don't need it this was definitely a 2022 game changer it makes everything so much easier and it just makes it look more professional too because this way they all look the same. There are going to be times when you still want another rolling pin because when you're doing pie crust or rolling at your fondant, it's only could go so wide. Despite that, I still think that is worth it and this definitely made it so much easier to make cookies in 2022. Okay, I know it's not a kitchen gadget, so it doesn't have to be included in my top five, but I at least wanted to mention one of my biggest discoveries of last year. It's the Easy Thin product from Wilton. So I used to hate, hate, cake pops because the chocolate always gets so thick that you can't really get it to like come off your things when you're dipping and just takes forever. You're like, this should be so easy and it's not. When you add the easy thin to it, it makes it a thinner consistency. Shocking. But then when you do that, you can actually dip it in and it comes off. So I'm not sure if I fully have gotten the balance down, but I still recommend them because they make making cake pops so much easier and make you not want to pull your hair out as much. Number two, are squirt bottles. These are ones that are used for decorating. So when you do royal icing, there's usually thick royal icing and thin royal icing. So these are perfect for all the flooding royal icing because A, you have to waste a lot more bags because you need to have a different bag for all these ones and B, the icing is thinner so it's more prone to just come out everywhere on your counter and make a huge mess. So these have been a game changer for me. This is probably one of my favorite things I've ever bought or baking hands down because all those rural icing things it's just easy you just put it in there you stand them up 
and you're good to go. You move on to the next thing. Otherwise, I'd probably have to buy a special stand for my bags or just accept the mess that would happen because I make a lot of messes. With these, you just pour them in and then you could change the tips very easily. You put it over like that. When you lay on the side, it's easier for it to come out. You could squeeze to control the flow. Whoop. These ones are for Sweet Sugar Belt and I love them. So I highly recommend these. These are my number two. Time for number one. And it's kind of a cop out. I kind of feel like it, but it's a given. This is, ooh, this is my number one for this year, every year. Having a good mixer makes a huge difference. And also having one that you could trust. It's nice to be like, okay, I'm gonna put that in there and I'll come back to it in a minute or two. Surprisingly, this is actually my second version of this one because I had one before and it was like a horse. Some very strange sounds. And guess what? I actually called KitchenAid and they sent me a brand new one as a replacement. I, at this point, trust KitchenAid. They have good products. I like my mixer. So when I get another mixer, I will probably get the same one, but I may get a little bigger because I've been doing a lot of baking. It also just makes it go quicker too, because there's sometimes I've made icing and stuff with a hand mixer and your arm gets tired and your hand <laughs> gets tired and it just takes a lot longer because you can only do so much and this concentrates it all in one space. Hand mixers are great. It'll definitely work if you don't have the money or space, but if you really want to get into baking, I highly recommend a stand mixer. It doesn't have to be this one, but stand mixers definitely make it quicker, easier, and there's just some things that you really don't want to be mixing by yourself, like meringues, all those Swiss meringue type buttercreams. This is my ugh, number one. Thanks for watching this slightly unconventional board game bakes episode. It's fun game to try something new. So let me know in the comments. Do you like top five lists? Do you want top five bakes or other top five things that are going on in my kitchen? Do you like the style where it's mainly just focusing on baking things for a few videos? What's your favorite type of content to watch? Do you like more of the intricate cakes and cookies? Or do you rather see some more things that you could actually use these things to create? Make sure you let me know, hit subscribe. I hope to see you more in 2023. Keep playing games and keep them sweet. Bye.